my name is um, Sally Georgiani and I'm from um, Edinburgh Napier University. I'm chair currently of USISA Project and Change Management Group. So the housekeeping, in fact, uh, is there's no fire alarm expected this afternoon. Um, if there is, we go out of the doors and down the stairs. Um, please put all your phones to um, silent, if at all possible. Um, and also, can you tweet all the good stuff that you're learning and listening to over the next few days using the hashtag that's there? So, welcome, as I've said, to um, our conference, uh, Better, Faster and Smarter. Um, our hope over the next few days is that, um, that you'll, it'll be of interest, it'll spark some new ideas for you to listen to, um, and also to listen to those who have gone before um, and create new relationships and renew old ones, because I see some old, not old faces, but faces that I've seen before. That's better way to put it. So the conference badges um, have a meaning to them. So the main ones here are our new delegates, which are the purple. So um, please, if you've been an old delegate, again, an old delegate's not the right phrase, but you know what I mean, um, please say hello to our new delegates, because that's an important part of the next few days. So, we are facing an ever-increasing demand to be better, faster, and smarter at what we do. Education, along with its supporting services, are evolving, and we have to work to deliver these new expectations and demands. Our customers are the Sinzano kind, if you can remember that far back to the advert, which is anytime, anywhere, and with any device. They don't care where the information is held, what system it is on, what building it's in. They just want easy access. We are living now in a 24-7 um, society. Our world is changing. Climate change, there's strife, there's radical change, there's Brexit. Who knows what and where next the demands will come from. Um, and I've just realised that I'm poster girl along with Paddy, who's poster boy, this morning for the new um, USISA website that we have. We need to develop and change to look towards and support the future provision of our sector. In this country, we are doing more and more collaborations from a sustainability perspective. I was listening to one just last week um, between the two colleges within the borders of Scotland, one on the west coast, one on the east coast. Um, and it's to stop the travelling, the 70 or 80 miles travelling between the two um, campuses. So how do, we, how do we deal with that? There's another example, Hong Kong. Um, we've just recalled staff from Hong Kong, um, but we're still expected to deliver, the tech, to deliver the education out there. So how do we do that? Very, very um, quickly our academics are asking to understand lecture recording, con video conferencing facilities, wanting to use our learning environment. So it's, it's been a very quick turnaround for us within Napier for that. And I also read this morning in today's Times that seven, this was a staggering one, 76% of children within this country under five years of age now have access to a device to connect them to the internet. The majority are watching videos and learning through this medium. Only 17% actually will be using their device to read. 47% of, of the parents cite education as the main reason for allowing access to these devices and the internet to these children. YouTube is the second biggest search engine um, in the world. Six billion hours of video a month is watched. Um, so are we ready for this generation? I know that my daughters, um, if you ask them to um, find out about something, the first place that they go to is a video. Um, and that's how they learn. Are we ready for that technology and that way of learning within our institutions? Also, what worked in China, as another example, 
Um, we have a video and conferencing um, system. It doesn't work in China anymore. So how do we, because of the laws that are there, so how do we support that going forward? Security, access to data and its interpretation, integration of systems, virtual reality, automating financial considerations are just some of the challenges that we are facing. However, these are being demanded more and more. Two words that we missed out from our um, tagline was flexibility and adaptability, but that might be the next year's theme. So to summarize, I was recently at a conference where an academic member of staff, and it's not the first time I've heard this, um, referred to IT as being hidden in the depths of the university, in darkened spaces, um, and the dark side, as, as they called us, um, and very resistant to leave that space. I think it's time that we come out of our darkened space um, and into the light to lead, create, and support the future. So the next two days or few days are for you to start or build on old new relationships with suppliers and colleagues for a better, faster, smarter approach to our work. And at that, um, I'll hand over to Gareth. Oh. Yeah. yeah, I just want to add a few bits and pieces. Um, uh, really just to thank everybody obviously and welcome everybody as well to, to, to the conference. Um, we tried through the programme to get as much time for people to get together um, and kind of network and, and talk to kind of suppliers and kind of our sponsors and, uh, and so forth. So please do try and get the time and, 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 and speak to people. Um, one of the other things they also asked as well is to kind of is to thank really our sponsors um, and really to ask people to, during the exhibition to go and kind of speak to them, tell them what your challenges are. Um, also telling them you know, what they're doing wrong, because um, that sometimes can be very useful to them as well. Um, so, so really that's all I really wanted to say. I mean, Sally just kind of gave a bit of the themes of the planning behind the conference and some of the, the ideas and, kind of, and we're trying to do. Um, so I'd just like to formally kind of kick the, the conference off um, and invite our first speaker, John Hemingway, who's the CIO at Durham University. Now, unfortunately, John's not been able to kind of join us in person, but he's actually going to remotely, by video link, actually give us his presentation. Unfortunately, because of the way the technology's worked out, because it was a bit last minute, um, we won't be able to ask any questions at the end, um, but at least you'll be able to hear his, his presentation, um, which, which is round kind of the politics, the challenges, the kind of why people do certain things in certain ways, and he's going to try and present us with some practical ideas and tips and models that we can use in our own institutions and hopefully be able to see some of those um, um, traits that people are exhibiting and maybe understand why and, and look at some tools and ideas around, around um, how we do that. So really, I'd just like to introduce John and um, we can start sort of...